The last few days in Calgary have been a lot warmer than usual, and we've set records for electrical power consumption. And I presume this is due to the increased use of air conditioning late in the afternoon. And the power companies have had trouble meeting or keeping up with demand, and they've asked consumers to try and reduce their electrical consumption between 4 and 8 o'clock. So why are the power plants not able to keep up with demand when in cooler weather they can easily do that? I'm Kevin Dorma and today my whiteboard is outside where it's a little cooler in the morning in the shade and substantially cooler than my home office. Now Alberta gets about 40 percent of its power of its electrical power from combustion turbines and 47 percent of its power from coal-fired power plants. We will look at why a natural, a modern natural gas combustion turbine makes less power on hot days. First, we need some chemistry. We're going to think about fuel. Okay. Fuel needs air to burn. Now, that kind of makes sense. Now, one kilogram of natural gas needs 17 kilograms of air. And burning one kilogram of natural gas releases about 50,000 kilojoules of heat energy. And then part of that is recovered as shaft work in the engine. Now we'll look at some chemistry, or some physical, we'll look at some physical chemistry. Think back to your days in grade 12, or high school chemistry. And we'll look at the ideal gas law. And that says that the pressure times the volume, the specific volume of the gas, and this is the volume per kilogram, is equal to a gas constant multiplied by the absolute temperature. And for those of us purists, I am writing the gas constant in terms of mass of this specific gas. We're going to rewrite that. The volume occupied by one kilogram of gas is equal to our gas constant times our absolute temperature divided by the air pressure. Note that if the air temperature goes up, that gas takes up more volume. So that means one kilogram of gas, instead of taking up this much volume, it takes up that much volume. Or we can look at that on the flip side, if we have a fixed volume of gas this much, if it's cold outside it has more mass than if it's hot outside. So an increase in temperature from 15 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius for the same volume represents a decrease in mass by about 7 percent. Now let's think about an internal combustion engine. And for this I need to move the camera. This is the internal combustion engine that we're going to think about. This is my lawnmower. Okay, now let's take a look at the steps that are involved for an internal combustion engine to work. And for that, I need a small air pump. The first step is fuel is added to the air. And the carburetor is back there somewhere. So that adds the right amount of fuel to the air. Then fuel is pulled into the piston. So we can think of that as pulling air into the piston. And the amount of air that gets pulled in is about that much. It's a half, it's a half cup measuring cup. It's about this much air. Then all that air is compressed to a high pressure. We get a spark. It ignites the air. You get a small explosion in here that produces a really high pressure and that drives the piston back out. And by expanding the gas and pushing the piston down, we recover shaft work. Now, all combustion appliances are limited by the amount of combustion air that they can pull in. And it doesn't matter what the combustion appliance is. It can be an internal combustion engine, it can be a car engine, it can be a wood stove. The burning capacity of that appliance is always limited by the amount of air that that appliance can pull in. So that means, from the ideal gas law, a higher air temperature means that for a given volume of air, 
we will have less mass that we can pull in. And less air mass means we can only burn a limited amount of fuel. We will have to burn less fuel. And that means we will end up uh, with less power. Let's go back to the whiteboard. Okay, let's look at a simple gas turbine. Our gas turbine has three main parts. It has a compressor that pulls in air from the outside. It has a combustion chamber. where we pull in natural gas and we ignite, and we burn the fuel. Then that really hot gas goes onto the inlet side of a turbine. The exhaust comes out of the turbine at a low pressure. And we have an electric generator. So, it's the exact same processes, but in a slightly different order. The compressor pulls in the air, and it can only pull in a limited volume of air. It mixes with the right amount of fuel. Then, it, the hot, high-pressure gas is expanded through the turbine, makes power, and that is used to turn a generator, and we get electricity. So we need to emphasize, or remember, that again, this is a limited volume machine. It can only pull in a certain amount of combustion air. So if the air is really cold, like a really cold winter day, the air is super dense, it can pull in a, a very high mass of air, and we can generate a lot of power. On a hot day, it pulls in the same volume of air, but it contains less mass, and therefore, there's less air to consume in the combustion process. We cannot add nearly as much gas for combustion. And therefore, there's less energy being produced by the turbine, and thus we end up producing less electrical energy. And that's it. So, a gas turbine engine, like all other combustion appliances are limited by the amount of airflow or the air capacity that they can bring in. And the amount of air that they can bring in decreases at high temperature because the air is less dense. And the amount of power that it can make drops off pretty sharply as the temperature gets hotter and hotter, and really when we get past about 35 degrees Celsius. At 35 degrees Celsius, a typical gas turbine uh, power plant can make 85, can only make 85% of the power that it could on a cooler day at 15 degrees. So this is why the power companies are having trouble or just cannot keep up with the demand when it's really hot outside. And this is why they're asking consumers to decrease their power consumption between 4 and 8 p.m. Take care, stay cool, and try to conserve energy.